What is that noise? What is going on out here? Another tree. What a night. And this time it's much more concerning. First of all, something was hammering against the door. But last night, somebody's actually felled a tree with a chainsaw with the intention, by the look of it, of uh, getting it to fall on top of the log cabin. Obviously they've missed, just. But this is scary, and I didn't see anybody. Well, we don't have time to be messing around with this at the moment, but I'm going to go over to the logging office and get out of work for today. I'm going to have to mention it though, because I just don't understand what's going on here. Obviously the logical explanation for this is that somebody is running around the forest with a chainsaw, cutting down trees. But, who would do that? Hopefully it's going to be a fairly easy job today. Ah, Dagwin, hello. Uh, now we actually have quite a big challenge for you today. This is going to be the most testing of abilities. What we'd like you to do is drive up to the top of Grizzly Mountain and bring back a full load of logs. We need to get some lumber processed in our sawmill, so I can leave you to it, can I? Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely. That's grand. Now, you can choose any vehicle once again in the yard. I'd probably suggest the tractor, but if it has the dolly, you might have some trouble coming down the hill, so it's up to you. I would do that. Have you ever experienced anything strange around old Bill's cabin? Because, uh, well, I've experienced a few scary things. Well, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, well, um... Um, well... Have you? Well, yes, possibly. Um, I don't like to talk about it. it it's old Bill. He still has a presence in the area. So that is why it's called Old Bill's Cabin, because he haunts it. Haunting's a very strong word. I prefer just to say he, uh, looks after it. What, by trying to fell a tree on the cabin? Looking after it? I'm sorry, I, I can't talk to you about this anymore. Goodbye. Oh. Well, that makes me feel loads better. Thank you so much. Right, let's go. I can't be bothered with this at the moment. We're going to have to deal with the strange, spooky goings-on later. What we have to do is go and grab the vehicles of our choice. Obviously, we have the logging trailer. Um, he suggested the tractor. But I think if we have a fully loaded trailer, it's going to push the dolly sideways. We could, well, we could potentially lose the whole thing over the cliff, over the cliff side. So that would be not a good idea. I think we're going to stick with what I initially thought of, and that was to, uh, to take the truck, which is currently attached to the low loader. So the tractor might be good. It's obviously got more traction, but something about it just doesn't seem right. I think it's going to push the dolly. It will push this sideways going downhill. Obviously uphill it'll be fine, but when it's fully loaded it'll be a different story. So we hitch on to here. And I think we still have the chainsaw. We should do. And off we go. It's going to take a while to get there. And because we have already experienced the, the crossing going up the hill, I'm not too worried about going up the hill, despite this being a much longer vehicle. I am very concerned about coming down the hill because it would be much heavier, plus we have the weight behind us pushing us. So it is... it's a concern. I am genuinely worried. The ascent begins, but look at that beautiful mist. The early morning mist through the trees. 
No, I need to focus. <laughs> I can't keep looking at the trees. We need to look at the road. So this piece is okay. It's when we get to the plank crossing. And also beyond the plank crossing there's also a very narrow piece, but it's not quite as bad. Certainly nowhere near as nerve-wracking. So I'll very, very slowly and carefully keep climbing. I have gone against his recommendation though, and I've used the, the truck instead of the tractor, so I really hope I've done the right thing. Here we are, right. Still, <laughs> still quite nerve-wracking when you look down there though, when you can't see anything between the side of the truck and the water right at the bottom. But I'm going to very confidently cross here. I can see our tyres are on the planks quite well. That was okay. We've got to stick quite close to the edge though, because we've got these... Well, we've got the, the bottom of the cliff face, and it can be very rough if we go over the side of it, so I need to stay over to the left. I would say, let's take in the view, but I'm concentrating too hard. I might just stop just up here. Yeah, it's a good view. Okay. Quick break. So far, so good. It just depends how it reacts to everything when we are coming down the hill with a full load, at least hopefully a full load, of timber. That, I think, is the worst part done. And it was nowhere near as bad as doing it for the first time yesterday. That was tough. For anybody who watched yesterday's vlog, of, uh, well, I'm calling it the adventures of uh, Dagwin Thristlestick. Uh, yes, you'll know exactly what was happening there. And here we are. This is the final piece. Now, we definitely have the chippers up here. I'm assuming that we do have some other tools as well. We have the JCB. And that's it. So, that is all we really need. So, if I keep taking the trees down in the same place as yesterday, we should be able to make some progress. Uh, I need to position this in a fairly convenient location without getting stuck and of course making sure we can get out afterwards. I think I'll put it here. Should be a good place. Okay, so let's jump out. Let's uh, cut some trees down. I was going to say jump into the JCB. Not much point just yet. We'll go for these ones. These ones seem to be the easiest to move. However, these stumps could be troublesome. Uh, we can't drive over them with the JCB, so we'll see how we go. I've pulled the wedge out, and it's going over there. That's good. That's a good place for it. Next tree. Come on, tree. Oh, that one's coming this way. Yes, I have no control of my of my trees. Now we'll go for this one over here. In fact, we'll cut quite a few over here. And hopefully this one falls to the left. That would be the best place for it. Or it could just stay where it is. Yeah, that's good. Whoa. Almost crushed myself. Now what I'm going to do is get them all to the right length. And then hopefully we can uh, just keep loading them up. And eventually we'll have a good full load. Done. Time to warm up the JCB. Right. Uh, so it's going to be quite a repetitive thing to be doing. So what I'll do is I'll speed up this vlog for you. And we'll hopefully... Get it all condensed into a few minutes of footage, and then by the end of it we'll have almost a full load in the trailer. I am looking to get a full load, that is what they have requested, so yeah, that's what we're really going to be doing. Um, time dependent, 
but I think we'll be letting them down quite a bit if I don't do a full load. Plus, the more we get, the more money we get. So, it has benefits for everybody. Here goes. Offcuts, thread them in the chipper. I get a bit of extra money for that. Now, things are going quite well. I have managed to get most of these into here, as you can see, and they were very randomly cut, but it looks like they were just the right length, bit of overhang but nothing too serious, in fact that's probably still within allowance anyway. So we just have, I think it's four, yeah four, four more to go into there, then it's time to get some more trees down, probably still some ones from over there, this one here, and I don't know how many it's going to take to fill it but it looks like if we do the same amount again uh, we won't be too far off. So I'll continue. This grab is very helpful, it's much better than using the tractor's front loader, for example. Although, yeah, maybe next time I won't stack them all up in front of the truck or beside the truck, because uh, it does make it quite hard to load them. One thing I have found, though, is if you do put them in at an angle, or sticking out the back, you can just push them further in from behind, and it does work quite well. So that's probably, or you could just do that, that's probably what I'm going to do from uh, now on. It does seem to be a very effective method. There we go. Right, so that's those ones done, with the exception of one which is next to the truck at the moment. I'm going to start taking down the next ones, and I really do think that the ones back here are going to be the best ones, except for if I get them to fall the wrong way, because that is quite a descent. Um, actually, can you see old Bill's cabin from here? I don't think so, but it is down there somewhere. I've almost finished, so we do have a few more to load up, which I'll do obviously. If we can't fit them in, then they'll just have to pile up above the fill level. I want to take them. I want to take as many as we can do, because this is our last proper opportunity to make decent money. Since we are going back to Letton Farm tomorrow, um, and we don't have a job, and we have a house which is flooded and crumbling, so yeah, it's not going to be good. It's been so nice to actually make some money for a change. On the plus side, we can focus on the farm, and we can hopefully make it a productive farm eventually, but the house has to be habitable. Right, here we go, almost finished. Last few going in, I think there's one more to go to, and then we'll be done. Got to fill the gaps, there we go. So it looks like we do just have one more to go to, and it is this tiny one just here. picked up. Uh, it's actually the smaller ones which tend to be hardest to load up because they're obviously very light on one end and fairly heavy on the other. But like a pencil really. Actually there are two because there is another one on the floor there. 
We'll get them both sorted. And here we go, the last one. There is one which is just perched on the bulkhead there, which probably shouldn't be like that, but I don't really know how to pull it back. So we'll just have to keep it like that, I assume. Right, let's fold this thing up. Turn it off. There is the uh, destruction. We have left it quite open. But it's going to pay off. Yes, that is looking quite neat. Some of these are quite a long way back, but there's not too much overhanging. There's only one overhanging, and it was a very big one, which is actually touching the front here. At least it was when I pushed it. So, straps. Yeah, we, we can't go anywhere without the straps. There we go. Put as many on as possible. Good, that should be plenty. And now to start our journey back. How are we doing? Half past three. That's pretty good, actually. We've done that in good time. There is only one place here which is going to be tricky. The rest of it shouldn't be too bad. But this piece here, for example, I think would be bad if we had the dolly. Because the trailer would push the dolly round and, well, it could become very dangerous. Braking very hard. Uh, it's not slowing it down a great deal. We'll have overheating brakes next. Uh, but the piece where we have to go over the planks, that is still around the corner and then back over there somewhere. This is where it starts to get narrow. So I need to go really slow it keeps speeding up forever on the brakes now the trailer won't follow us perfectly around the corner there, it does slip away so we don't want to lose the truck, obviously if you lose the trailer you lose the truck it'll just pull it in, whoa that's not feeling good I think we're okay and it's just at the bottom of here the worst part of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It just keeps... I'm not accelerating, it just keeps pushing itself down the hill. That looks extremely narrow. That looks ridiculously narrow. When standing over here, you really do appreciate the edge which is right next to us by about half a metre, in fact. Let's do it. Let's get it over and done with. I think I just did that a bit too fast. And now... Ah! Lost traction! This is why he suggested a tractor. Come on! Oh no! I've lost the trailer! Oh yes, well done! Oh, what a good truck! That could have been very bad. That could have had a very different ending. Ten past five. It's taken a long time to get down here. Uh, but we are not going to be defeated. We'll keep going. The worst of it is done. So providing I don't overturn it, we should be fine. We've made it. So all we need to do now is put it onto this rack just here. And then we can uh, see how much money we've made. Right, if I can get close enough, we might be able to do this very simply. We'll unstrap it. I've got plenty of straps. There we go. One more there. And then all we have to do is obviously get it into the uh, the rack just over there. All unloaded. So I'll just pull it out of the way, and then we can see exactly how much money we've brought in. We just have to process it. So. It's 12,178 from the first bunch. Now for the second load. That should be in place. 22,148. And come on. Get closer. And 2,552, which means we finish off this fantastic opportunity with £83,077. That sounds pretty good to me. That's going to be put straight back into our own house. And we need to make sure it's a good rebuild if we can uh, even that might not be enough i don't know um because we have the mortgage to pay as well but it's going to go a long way i'll put it that way to finish off i just need to part this here there 
There we go. And we'll uh, jump into the Matty Ferguson. Go and tell Philip what we've done. Hopefully he's impressed. And then it's time for a sleep. Oh, wait. Oh, we have that weird, spooky place to go to. All done. I must say that's a very impressive performance you've shown today. That was a very risky challenge. I hope you've enjoyed your experience here, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. <laughs> At least he's talking to us again. He was not happy when I questioned him about the old cabin, which we're about to go back to. Hooray. I just want a quiet night, no trees being felled on top of the cabin, nothing supernatural. Very tired after today, so we just want to go to sleep. Of course, the tree is still across the road. I'll have to go around that. And the tree will still be there in front of the cabin. There's the track. There's the tree. Just park up over here, because obviously my parking space is gone. And we're off to bed. Where's the cabin?